Hello everyone. So in my last video, I talked about botany. That what are the various different topics in botany and related to that. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell about the topics that are in zoology. And this video is for the students, those who want to pursue a career in zoology. So zoology, BSc in zoology is basically a three-year undergraduate course in uh, zoology and the eligibility criteria is, is you have to pass class 10 plus 2 with 55 percent aggregate marks and you ought to have a good base in biology uh, especially in animal sciences so uh, and uh, there are various kinds of jobs that you would be getting after bsc and msc in zoology i have listed down some of uh, them here so i'm gonna read them out so the jobs are in pharmaceutical companies, museum, zoological gardens, wildlife sanctuaries, agriculture companies, hatcheries, government and private hospitals, laboratories, then environmental agencies, and you can be a marine scientist or a natural conservational officer, then you can be a research fellow, junior or senior research fellow, and then and finally you can be a lecturer in college and universities. So basically zoology deals with animal biology, human physiology, anatomy, all that and uh, yeah, I will try to upload a next video on the top 10 uh, BSc courses that uh, you could pursue after class 12. So this is the scheme and syllabus under choice based credit system CBS, CBCS system of BSc zoology with honors. So there are basically 14 core courses and there will be ability enhancement courses that is AEC in first semester it will be environmental science and in second semester it will be English communication then there has to be a generic elective courses there will be four generic elective courses up to the second year and third year would be said as pure honors then in generic elective courses you can take chemistry or microbiology or botany whatever you want in uh, skill enhancement courses there will be two skill enhancement courses and discipline specific elective courses also there will be four courses of that regarding the core courses there are 14 papers and they are basic concept of taxonomy and non codits that is protista to pseudocylomates then there is principle of ecology then there is non codits silomates animal physiology diversity of codits Comparative anatomy of vertebrates fundamentals of biochemistry. So this thing is very important Biochemistry this thing is there in botany. This thing is there in zoology and this thing is also there in microbiology Then there is cell biology parasitology and immunology then there is biochemistry of metabolics and molecular biology developmental biology and finally there is principle of genetics and evolution of biology so these are the core papers now going into little bit of uh, detail so this you can pause and read that what are the various things and these are the discipline core courses of zoology from sem 1 to sem 6 these are the various things and in discipline specific elective courses of zoology you have to take uh, two that is you will be getting animal behavior and chronobiology biology of insecta parasitology and aquatic biology so it is up to you that which courses you would be taking in dsc and regarding skill enhancement courses of zoology there is uh, apiculture sericulture aquarium fish keeping and quantification techniques so moving on to the core courses that is basic concept of taxonomy and non codits that is protesta to pseudocelomates there is basic animal classification definition classification systematics taxonomy hierarchy taxonomic types all these are there then homonym synonym all these are there in unit 2 there is protista parazoa metazoa these are the things you can pause and read that what are the various things there is euglena amoeba paramecium plasmodium vivax all these things are there then there is porifera nidaria tinophora in unit 5 there is platy helminthes in unit 6 there is nemathe helminthes these are the various things and there is a lot of practical work as I always say in botany, zoology, microbiology, biotechnology. So these are the various kinds of practical works. Moving on to the next topic that is core course 2. There is principles of ecology, introduction to ecology. Then there is population, community, ecosystem, wildlife and conservation. These things are there. 
then again there are practical work then core course 3 that is introduction to silomates anilida arthropoda then mollusca echinodermata all these are there so this is the core course 3 in core course 4 their core course 4 i think is the where place where real zoology starts and it is basically animal physiology so this is the interesting part so it starts with tissues digestive system respiration system blood vascular system urinogenital system endocrine system nervous system again there are various kinds of practical works here moving on to core course 5 that is protocordata agantha piscis amphibia reptilia apes mammalia and zoo geography is there then again there is practical work and these are the suggested readings various books of uh, foreign authors but uh, mainly students follow the indian authors then in course course 6 there is comparative anatomy of vertebrates that is intergumentary system skeletal system digestive system respiratory system circulatory system urogenital system nervous system and sense organs then again practical work and this is the most important part fundamentals of biochemistry which is there in botany and microbiology and biochemistry oh, and uh, biotechnology as well so there is biological macromolecules enzymes carbohydrate metabolism protein metabolism lipid metabolism these are the things in biochemistry you can pause and read the things that are there and you can also take the pdf for the syllabus of uh, zoology from me if you want you can uh, comment down below and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and this video helps you and also share the video then next is cell biology in cell biology there is plasma membrane endomembrane system mitochondrial and mitochondria and peroxisome cytoskeleton nucleus cell division cell signaling these are the various things then next we have core course 9 that is parasitology and immunology then there is parasitology immunology there are the function of cytokinins then there is pathway of antigen processing and presentation hypersensitivity antigenicity immunogenicity you can search all these topics in google for brief description and brief reading then there is core course 10 that is biochemistry of metabolic process that starts with overview of metabolism carbohydrate metabolism lipid metabolism protein metabolism oxidative phosphorylation these are the various things here then in core course 11 that is molecular biology molecular biology is a very important topic in biology that uh, contains nucleic acids dna replication transcription translation post translation modification processing of eukaryotic rna gene regulation dna repair mechanism and cancer regulatory rnas these all things are also there in botany so i will suggest that if you uh, take zoology honors as the main subject you can keep uh, botany honors as the generic subject then there is core course 12 for developmental biology which has early embryonic development late embryonic development post embryonic development implication of developmental biology and again the practical works so then there is core course 13 principle of genetics genetics is also a very important topic like molecular biology where there is mendelian genetics linkage crossing over chromosomal mapping you have i guess all these ideas of class 11 12 you have some ideas of this in class 11 12 you might have gone through this then there is mutation sex determination extra chromosomal inheritance polygenic inheritance recombination in bacteria and viruses transposable genetic elements and finally the core course 14 evolutionary biology life's beginning rna world biogeny origin of photosynthesis evolution of eukaryotes then darwinism neo darwinism then uh, there is evolution population genetics hardy weinberg law the product of evolution microevolution then mass extinction origin and evolution of man these are the things phylogenetic trees and again in botany and zoology microbiology there are various practical you have to do a lot of practical work so 
this was uh, uh, the detailed uh, approach towards uh, zoology what are the various topics in zoology so if you want uh, the details of this i can provide so this was about zoology if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and do let me know and uh, kindly share the video so thanks for watching